Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Esper and today I'm starting a new series called Simple Arma. This is a series about a uh, diverse aspect of Arma mission making and will be made of various uh, tutorial from uh, well, um, editor use to well scripting. And today's first episode is going to be about how to use a loadout you created in a, a, the virtual arsenal of Arma 3 and then, well, use it on an actual unit in a mission. And also, how to make it multiplayer friendly. What you will need, obviously, you will need Arma's uh, virtual arsenal. That's a no-brainer. And also, a text editor of your choice. Well, I would highly recommend Notepad++. Uh, I will link it in the description for your convenience and also I will link a language pack which highlights uh, different stuff for the actually the SQF uh, lang scripting language of Arma 3. So without any more uh, waiting let's get started and we will start with three uh, important lines uh, for this piece of code. First of all you're gonna use if open parentheses exclamation mark in another parentheses and write local space a player then close both parentheses and then you will add exit with in one word with to a bracket and then the comma dot thingy so to simply explain what this does is simply saying that if uh, now into this parentheses you will add a condition in this um, and that if the condition here is not met uh, well I mean if this condition is met then it will simply exit the script right away and the condition here is saying that if the player running the script for uh, the unit um, that you want to run the script for, if he's running the script for the unit of another player, then the script is not going to want let him do and will exit. So to explain this exclamation mark is simply you could translate it as a not so if not local player so if any other player is trying to run this script then it's gonna exit and this is pretty important especially if you want to use it um, in the initialization line as without making it to this too lengthy um, every time a player join a mission and you know the game reads the mission file every single initialization line of every single object unit uh, in the game world will be read and executed so if you do not have this one line well every time a player join a server he will actually reset uh, everyone's loadout which could completely uh, ruin the fun of that one guy about to run out of ammunition uh, hoping to make his rambo run successful so you know just to be sure you add this line and now you will we will add a second uh, you could say fail safe line to make this work so you will add wait until well that's a no-brainer uh, we asked the script at this point uh, to wait until a condition is met and this condition that you will put in between two bracket will be exclamation mark is null player and what will this do is basically said uh, to the script to wait until the player is not nothing and this may seem uh, confusing and I will you know don't forget this comma dot thingy 
uh, this may seem confusing in a sense because when when you enter a server and start loading a map you're not yet uh, existent we could say to make this simple uh, the way Arma works uh, you need to put this line if you want the script to to make sure the script is going to be executed properly because well the script will wait until your unit your character is existent into the game's world so once you're not non-existent when you are actually um, you could say spawned in the world then the script is going to go on and then you want to add this line as this will uh, this you know just because I like to put this kind of line and also because you know because <laughs> I have no real reason uh, let's say simply that uh, if you were to remove this line then you will love having uh, this particular piece of code especially if you use it in a trigger now I will you know just add it for the sake of well I would not say it's useless even with the first line of code as I experience problem without using this line and I will I will explain how to use it properly like it's used in the actual mission editor later on so we'll add underscore unit equal underscore this then select a zero so what this does because you could say that in this case zero equal one so we are saying to the game that every time as we will add a parameter every time that you will see underscore unit uh, you will replace underscore unit with the first uh, parameter that will be uh, added to the script so now we don't need this much anymore uh, you know keep it open we go back to Arma now um, so now here I made a, a pre I use a pre-made soldier I made for a mission. Uh, you will not find those items in the vanilla game. This is uh, from various mod uh, Marius mods into my community's mod pack community beta.net. Um, okay, so uh, now you will one. Let's assume, like I say, you made your soldier. He's up to your standards. He's your lead Rambo of the world. You will go and hit export. And what this would do is basically uh, send all the data of this soldier to the clipboard. And now you go back to your script. Hit Control V, and boom. Now you got your soldier in the scripted form. Now we need to do a few adjustments for this to be viable. And also, uh, if you want to uh, let players having their the faces, voices, and facial item that they decided if you want them to keep it. So we will remove this set face and this set speaker. And also remove goggles this. Now, when a player join, he will keep his uh, personal uh, preferences of voices, a face, and uh, facial items. And now, another last editing of the script we need to do. You will go Control F and go to replace and uh, replace this by underscore unit and replace all. And what this will do, like I said, when we will add the parameter, it will replace all the underscore units with the parameter that we will add. And also uh, make sure you check this one parameter, this one uh, word here because uh, if you do not change it back then um, uh, you will pull your hairs off because this script will not work and you may take time to find that the bit of error so replace it back to underscore this and then save it to the place of your choice as a dot sqf otherwise it will not work so uh, now we'll go back into the game and then I will uh, go into the mission editor. Might take a small while because Arma being Arma. <laughs> okay. So now you load out the mission of your choice. 
in my case is going to be uh, a new mission I made for my community and now well you want to add your unit uh, whatever it is and then you will add your piece of code I simply write null equal and then a bracket then add exec VM and then you add the path to your script my case script kits then rifleman.sqf now remember that uh, line I talked to you about the unit equal this select as zero now this is where we need to make a small adjustment basically in those brackets we write this and what this will do will it will make that this particular unit as to why this will run the script and well will be given his rifleman kit um, so let's you know let's preview and go see what if it worked and there we go so here come meet Lewis Morris and uh, sorry for the inconvenience I have a few other scripts kicking in for this uh, particular mission um, and as you can see well Lewis is a rifle man and since we remove the remove glasses line and the set face and voice well we keep his own identity you could say now uh, we won't necessarily hear his voice as well I'm using mod that remove set voice but we're not yet out of the wood yet at because if Lewis were to tragically die from a stray bullet to the face by some random people from some random country in some random places uh, and were to respawn well he would be back to the basic tree color desert rifleman from the N M MNP pack now this uh, could be problematic especially if like in this mission you don't use uh, ammo boxes like arsenal uh, VAS or um, I think it is or gear select so you want to add a event handler and I will use one already made to rectify that and basically you will instruct the game don't forget that comma dot thingy um, you will instruct the game that when this unit die and respawn this event handler will kick in and uh, rerun the script for this particular unit to make sure he spawns with the right kit so that will be all for today I yeah it will be all for today I have nothing much uh, nothing more to add really um, so if you well if you like this video uh, well please go like uh, give a like and subscribe uh, and well this is all this was Esper uh, signing off and wishing you a good day people